welcome back to the ocean of the english literature um, we will continue from act one scene four analysis of romeo and juliet written by shakespeare uh, this scene might seem unnecessary as an audience we already know that romeo and his friends are headed to the feast we already know that romeo is melancholy and benvolio more pragmatic the inclusion of this scene does not directly offer plot exposition or plot progression however the scene does argument um, the general sense of fate through romeo's statement of belief and the knight's event will lead to untimely death the audience of uh, the, the audience of course uh, knows that he will suffer an untimely death when romeo gives himself uh, up to the line 112 where he says he that had the steerage of my course uh, the audience here feels fate take a tighter grasp on him uh, this scene also serves as an introduction to the clever whirling entrancing mercutio spinning wild burns left and right seeming to speak them as freely as others breathe Mercutio is established as a friend who can gently or not mock Romeo as no one else can. True thoughtful Benvolio does not have the quick wit for such behavior. Uh, with his wild speech and laughter, Mercutio is a man of excess. But his passions are of another sort than those of, than those that move Romeo to love and Tybalt to hate. Romeo's and Tybalt's passions are founded upon the acceptance of two different ideals trumpeted by society the poetic <coughs> the poetic tradition of love and the importance of honor Mercutio believes in neither In fact Mercutio stands in contrast to all of the other characters in Romeo and Juliet because he is able to see through the blindness caused by wholehearted acceptance of the ideals sanctioned by the society he pokes holes in romeo's rapture's adaptation uh, adoption of the rhetorical love just as he mocks tebart's fastidious adherence to the fashions of the day it is no accident that mercutio is a master punner in this play a pun represents a slippage or twist in the meaning of a word that word which previously meant one thing now suddenly is revealed to have additional interpretations and therefore becomes ambiguous just as mercutio can see through words to other a usually debased meaning he can also understand that the ideals held by those around him originate from less high minded desires than anyone would care to admit so this is all about in this theme there is a very famous speech on um, which is called mercutio mercutio's queen map speech and this is uh, one of the most famous in this play uh, queen map who brings uh, dreams to sleeping people seems to be loosely based on uh, figures in the pagan celtic method uh, mytho- uh, mythology that predated christianity's arrival in england so uh, yet the name holds a deeper meaning the words queen and the map were references to whores in elizabethan england and uh, in in queen map then mercutio creates a sort of conceptual pun so <coughs> this is all about this act uh, act 1 and scene 4 and thank you so much for uh, listening it uh, you can comment about uh, whatever you got and if you have any question i will try to solve it in the next video and uh, we will discuss act 1 and scene 5 in next uh, video thank you so much and uh, do not forget to subscribe this channel